Hey, how you doing? My name is Trip Lee. I am a rapper and a preacher and an author, and I'm excited to get to look at God's word with you. Uh, John chapter one, verse 29 says this. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and he said, look, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I wonder if you've ever had something taken from you. And if you did, how did it feel? You probably felt violated and you wanted justice. It was wrong. Well, I want you to know there's also a good way to take something from somebody. And that's what this verse is about. It's talking about John the Baptist here. And John the Baptist, right before this verse starts, um, he, people were saying, maybe you're the Messiah. And John the Baptist was saying, no, I am not the Messiah. Someone greater than me is coming so great. I'm not even worthy to tie their shoes. And then the very next day, here comes Jesus. Imagine just seeing Jesus walking towards you. And the first thing that John says is, look, the Lamb of God. Now, that's a strange phrase, because usually if we compare somebody to an animal, it's like a ferocious animal, you know, like they're a beast or a lion. But he says Jesus is the Lamb of God. And the reason he says that is the Bible so often talks about lambs as this sacrificial offering or led to the slaughter. He's talking about the Lord Jesus, who was so gracious that he sacrificed himself to take away our sins. You know, I said there's a good way to take something from someone, too. Um, that good way that's not theft to take something from someone is if someone's carrying something that's too heavy for them, too burdensome. This is the kind of taking Jesus has done where our sin is the heaviest thing that we have to carry. It separates us from God. It leads us to destruction. And Jesus says, let me take that off of your hands. And he doesn't just take it and throw it away. He literally takes it upon himself. And that's incredibly gracious. And I wonder how you respond to that grace today. One of the ways I think we can respond is I hope we feel a sense of ease and gratitude, knowing that the greatest, most heaviest, worst thing we'd ever have to carry Jesus has taken for us. And, and it also, I hope our love for Jesus increases, that he would take it for us. Because it's like if the only way I could save you from a burning building was by burning myself, that's the kind of sacrifice and grace the Lord Jesus has shown us. And so I hope that today we're filled with joy thinking of the Lamb of God who takes away our sins.